Hi, this is Tony and we're back on the bench. And this evening, I wanted to do a quick little video here on this uh, topic of of how to get fused bearings off of your pinion shaft uh, on your spinning reels here. Okay, so this comes off of a Shakespeare model, uh, GX250. And as you can see, you know, it's all been taken apart and everything here. And I've been doing a lot of a lot of work on this here. You can see there's a lot of rust contaminants and stuff. This reel wasn't really cared for well. It was something that I picked up from a guy on Craigslist. It was attached to the GX2 rod. The rod's in great shape, actually. Uh, I got the rod and the reel for 20 bucks, so you really can't go wrong there. Any ugly stick that you can get for 20 bucks is usually worth the money. But uh, all the reel uh, definitely, you know, it, it, it's got all these rusted parts and just a lot of corrosion from the salt spray and stuff. Uh, and hence, this bearing here is a victim of a lot of rust damage. And so uh, I'm going to just tell you uh, what I had to do to get this off. And it wasn't easy and it was kind of a time consuming process. But first things first, hit it with some penetrating oil. Okay, so uh, I started with some liquid wrench. Um, you know, this stuff works pretty good usually uh, for me anytime I've used liquid wrench pro products. Eventually, though, I hit it with some PB Blaster. Um, I, I always find this to, to come through for me when I'm really, really dealing with, with some hardcore, you know, rusted parts such as this here. Uh, but still, it needed a little bit more persuasion than just the penetrating oil. And I let it sit for well over 24 hours. That's key, though, anytime you're using penetrating oils is let it sit. Uh, but what I ended up having to do here, and I'm going to show this to you on camera here. So, you know, it, it was basically stuck down here. And, like, I'm trying to move it right now, and I'm pushing really hard. And it's it's not really moving that easily. And so what you do is you can get a deep socket of the appropriate size that will go over the pinion gear safely, okay, so that it'll touch the bearing basically like that. And then you can just hold it up straight. Take a small hammer, give it a few taps, and that should free it up, okay? But the penetrating oil, you definitely need to do that. And if you are going to attempt to do this, I just exercise caution uh, that, you know, you get the right size socket. Use a deep socket. Don't use a shallow socket. Don't use a nut driver. Use a deep socket. And uh, that should uh, be enough persuasion to, to get that bearing uh, free from that rusted uh, uh, shaft there. So, hope uh, that's helpful. Uh, thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please do subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button. That way you'll get updates to upcoming videos uh, as they come out. We'll see you next time.